It all began in a church kitchen on a Thursday afternoon in March 2007. Series founder Catherine Couch worked with six teens to prepare about 30 meals for four families, all of whom were in the midst of the stress and challenge of a health crisis. From that simple seed, Series Community Project's Healing Meals for Healthy Communities program has rippled out across Sonoma County and the country. Over the past six years, nearly a thousand young people have worked, learned, and grown in our garden and our commercial kitchen in Sebastopol. Together, we've provided 200,000 organic meals made with love for local families experiencing a health crisis and unable to get healing meals like these any other way. At Ceres, we believe that the true generators of wellness in our community are our relationships with one another and our relationships with healthy food. So everything we do, whether it's the way that we bring youth into the kitchen, the way that we work with clients, or the way that we engage the whole community, it's all designed to support the connection back to our relationships and our healthy food system. At Ceres, young people volunteer as gardeners and chefs and are mentored as they learn about growing, cooking, and eating fresh, healthy foods. Cut this in half, lengthwise. The meals they prepare are delivered free of charge to people facing a serious health challenge, like cancer, ALS, or hepatitis C, and to their entire families. Last October 13th of 2012, I found out that I had ovarian cancer. Just all of a sudden, boom, there I was. Uh, my husband is on dialysis four times a week, and so between both of us, um, we'd always, you know, been fine taking care of each other or doing whatever, and suddenly we were thrust into, oh my gosh, we can't do this by ourselves. This series program gave me a lot of space to focus on my healing. I didn't have to worry about what I was going to make for dinner or if there was healthy, nutritious food for my family. We were so fortunate to have the food delivered to our door, put in the refrigerator, and all we had to do was heat things. And it meant so much to me to be able to receive that from the community at a time when I needed it. I really needed it. I needed to feel all the love that was around me. I needed to soak all that love, all that nourishment, all that community involvement. I, it, it fed me. This simple but profound solution is urgently needed now. Today, more than half of all deaths in the United States are related to poor eating habits. Obesity, heart disease, diabetes, and many forms of cancer can often be prevented by healthier diets. And for people facing a life-threatening illness, it's even more essential than ever that they eat well. But shockingly, 80% of cancer patients end up malnourished. And besides the devastating physical effects, a serious illness can be frightening, stressful, and isolating. One of the really significant pieces of our work is, um, is dealing with the, the growing disconnection in our communities. And so many people, we're busy with work, we don't have religious communities, many of us don't live by our families, and um, we don't have ways to be in meaningful relationships with one another. And it, it shows up most strongly for our clients, who often when they get ill become more isolated, maybe they're not going to work now. And, um, and you know, some of our clients, the, the only time they see someone or talk to someone is when their client liaison calls or their delivery angel comes. And so Ceres is a, is a big um, stew of ways for people to be connected with one another. The 320 adult volunteers, the 250 youth volunteers, the thousands of donors that we have, Everyone gets to feel like they're in a meaningful relationship with others in their community doing something that really matters. I heard about Ceres first when my uncle was diagnosed with cancer and he became a client with the program. And I became a volunteer with Ceres as a way to give back to the program because it was something that was so helpful to my family during that time. I love working in the kitchen because not only does it give me a chance to give back to the program, but also there's such a huge camaraderie in the kitchen. Just working in the kitchen is such a positive experience. When I'm making a batch of, for example, a salad, and it's going to 80 different clients, I can step back and think, wow, this is going to 80 different clients, and this is something that's tremendous because I'm affecting 80 different people. 
series gives teenagers an opportunity not only to make a real difference in the world, but to discover who they are and where they're going. The series has changed exactly everything in my life. Before I came to series, I didn't cook very much um, at all. And after I came to series, it not only gave me the inspiration to cook new foods, but it also gave me the fundamental skills to be able to explore and cook different things. Next year, I'll be attending New York University, and I'll be doing um, an interdisciplinary concentration in public health, public policy, nutrition, and food studies. Besides helping teens make positive changes in their lives, Ceres involves local merchants and farmers who donate food to our program. Community members volunteer in many roles, including mentoring teens, meeting with clients, and delivering meals. We give free and low-cost classes and seminars where people learn about healthy food and cooking. And we nourish our clients with delicious food and connection. As a result, clients, their families, and thousands of others are making real changes in their eating habits, increasing vegetable consumption, and significantly reducing the amount of processed, packaged, and fast food that they eat. The food was great. Um, we uh, learned to eat a few different things. Um, I'm not sure that we're ready for any more kale. Having the series food for a prolonged period of time helped me start new behavior patterns around food and eating. It opened up a whole new world for me with all the different, gra especially the grains. Series works. But we know that our work has barely begun. Since 2010, we've helped seven communities around the country replicate our model, and we're in conversation with more than a dozen other communities who want to bring Ceres to their area. It's really exciting. I mean, to think that something that we started here, that, um, that it's had an impact that's really rippling out around the country, it's really a butterfly effect that happens with series when if one person learns something about food and learns something about food that they really like, they're going to be excited about it and they're going to tell other people about it. There's a part of me that hasn't been able to convey how much I've loved receiving this program, how much it's meant to me and my family. How blessed I feel to be a part of this community. Series works but it takes a community to make it happen. Please join us.